Hi, uh, it's been a while since I taped the video uh, for anyone, so I feel a little rusty and it's amazing when you don't do something for a while, it's like starting up all over again. So I hope you'll be patient with me as I'm starting up again. And uh, today I wanted to really do a video for you because um, um, I was looking through my, uh, I mean, you could, I mean, this is only a part of it, but all that, uh, the images that I have for my new card deck, Magical Mind Shift, and, um, and that is almost done, by the way. The graphic designer has it now. So this morning, I wanted to test one out because I was having a problem about a week ago where I just kind of felt so hopeless that I was getting kind of down about it. And uh, it was because um, uh, earlier uh, in last month, uh, Seattle area had a, a pretty bad snowstorm and um, my salon, Studio 904, was closed for five days. And uh, it's, it was just really devastating to my business and I'm sure all other small business owners, when you have to close your business for that long and you have no income coming in to support the overhead, the expenses, payroll and so forth. So um, I felt pretty hopeless as to how I was going to get out of this. And one of the things that I thought about was my card deck. And so I looked through my card deck and this is one of my favorite uh, card decks. I hope you can see it. Uh, it's something that I always use this, uh, the word, it's called abundance. And it is about when a door unexpectedly closes, you know, take a few moments to sit in silence and take a deep breath. Then uh, a window will open with an abundance of new options. And it is so true because when you think that there's no other answer, then window will surely open just like here and you'll see the blue skies. And in my situation, I, I just had to get going in action and, and write down all the things that there are that are opportunities for me and my business. So, um, you know, some of them included calling the landlord up and not sitting back and, and talking with them and, and, and asking them for some relief or some help or some payback program. And he, and yeah, it happened. And then, and you know, going through my budget and just cutting out everything that we really didn't need to reduce the budget. And then the third one is, um, I looked at myself, like what are the skills do I have? And I know that I used to teach um, <clears throat> art classes and craft classes all the time at a local uh, stamp store. And it's been a while, but I thought, okay, I could do that again. So I'm designing a uh, water painting art class that I'm going to be offering two sessions and um, I'm really excited to do that too but I know that by the time that I do those two sessions I will be able to uh, recoup some of the losses that I had during the snowstorm. So for you I want you to think uh, very creatively in that way too because I know that we all have situations that come up from time to time when you think you're backed up against the wall and you wonder what am I going to do? I have no options, but um, there are so many options out there. Once you open up your mind and put your positive energy out, uh, I, I hope that you will be able to uh, look at a card like this and think of the word abundance because this world is filled with abundance. It's only our mind that keeps, up from, keeps us from going after them. So uh, anyway, that's my message today. I hope uh, you got something out of this and see you again. Thank you.